Introducing the first ever synthetic artificial intelligence human with real muscles. Soon we will have fake humans. Guys, have you ever imagined a world where synthetic robots move and act like real human beings? These technological advances are not only transforming entire industries, but also directly impacting the way we live our daily lives. In today's video, we will explore these fascinating questions, namely, how technology is allowing us to create beings almost identical to us, and what are the impacts of this on our I, society, our economy, and our way of relating to each other. Are we ready to coexist with artificial beings that behave like humans in many aspects? And what are the ethical and emotional implications of introducing these human-like beings into our daily lives? We will answer all of this in today's video, so stay with me. Don't forget to like and share the link to this video in WhatsApp and Telegram groups. For the people you care about to stay updated on this topic, agreed. And just a reminder before we start, comment below, are you more excited or scared about the possibility of having synthetic humans? Come on, comment there. Have you ever imagined seeing a robot that moves so naturally that it looks like a human? Let's explore this technological advancement that is getting closer to becoming a reality. The first synthetic human equipped with real muscles. What I am going to present here today may seem like science fiction, but it is a concrete innovation. And the impacts of this technology on our daily lives are vast. From applications in the field of medicine to transformations in the entertainment industry, we are facing a technological revolution that promises to redefine many aspects of our lives. And the most intriguing thing is that this is just the beginning. The implications of this technology go far beyond what we can imagine now. Imagine an android capable of imitating human movements so precisely that it is practically impossible to notice the difference. Companies like Clone Robotics are leading this innovation by developing a synthetic muscular system that accurately replicates human anatomy. These artificial muscles controlled by artificial intelligence allow for smooth movements and significant strength. We are talking about a technology that seems to inaugurate a new species, far beyond what is understood as a traditional robot. The most fascinating thing is to think about how these advances can be applied beyond the industrial sector. Imagine the use of these robots in rescue operations in dangerous or hard to reach environments where it would be risky to send humans. These robots can perform functions that we still cannot fully understand with immense potential to key revolutionize our way of dealing with adverse situations. In the health sector, the possibilities are equally impressive. Imagine robots assisting the elderly, helping with daily activities, or even providing physical care with precision and consistency. These synthetic humans could play essential roles in clinics and hospitals, performing tasks that require strength, precision, repetition, and being available 24 hours a day without the need for rest. This technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we care for people, making treatments and procedures much more accessible and safe. For example, imagine a robot capable of performing extremely precise surgeries without the concern of fatigue or human error. In addition, they could be fundamental in the physical rehabilitation of patients, assisting in physical therapy exercises with consistency and safety. This type of advancement in medicine could completely transform the experience of patients and the functioning of health institutions, but this innovation is not limited to just practical advantages. It also raises important and complex questions. How will this affect the job market? Will we face a significant reduction in available jobs for humans, or will new opportunities arise alongside these machines? What are the ethical limits? 
to developing something so similar to human beings? Are we prepared to coexist in a world where robots not only assist us but also share our routines and spaces so closely? These are questions that need to be analyzed as this technology advances. Moreover, the impact is not only economic but also emotional and social. How will we deal with synthetic people in social contexts? Will we develop emotional bonds with these robots? How might this influence our notion of relationships and human interaction itself? Perhaps in the future, we will not only have virtual assistants, but also synthetic companions integrated into our lives, helping in difficult moments or performing tasks that we consider dangerous. Another relevant aspect is the impact on our homes and daily life. Imagine a synthetic human taking care of your home, organizing your things, and ensuring the safety of you and your children. These robots could perform household tasks that many consider tiring, such as cleaning the house or making simple repairs, freeing up time for leisure activities, or personal development. However, this also raises an important question. Will we be ready to trust a machine so much? This scenario is fascinating and frightening as it promises to radically change the dynamics of home life. We could have robots taking care of children or providing companionship for the elderly in a much more interactive and engaging way than any current technology. This integration can bring great advantages, but it also requires us to rethink our role and our relationship with these artificial beings. We are just beginning to explore the potential of this technology, and with each new advancement, new possibilities, and also new challenges arise. The idea of having synthetic humans by our side, taking care of our homes or working with us, no longer seems like a distant utopia. We are talking about a change that has the power to profoundly impact our society, the way we perceive work, personal care, and even our relationships. Very soon, perhaps we may see these synthetic humans in schools, assisting teachers in hospitals, assisting doctors, performing procedures safely and efficiently, or even in our homes, making daily life simpler and more practical. This leads us to an inevitable question. Are we really prepared for what is to come? What is clear is that with each new advancement, we have the chance to reimagine our relationship with technology. These synthetic beings have the potential to profoundly transform the way we perceive work, care for others, and even our own identity as human beings. But we will also have to face very complex dilemmas. How can we ensure that these robots are used ethically how can we prevent them from being exploited in a way that does not benefit society as a whole? And how can we ensure that coexistence with these artificial beings is peaceful and advantageous for everyone? These are questions that we can only answer as we progress, but they should already be discussed now, while technology is still in development. One thing is certain, the future is coming faster than we imagine, and we need to be prepared to embrace the changes it will bring, with all its complexities and possibilities. Folks, after analyzing all these technological advancements, in my opinion, it is clear that we are entering a new chapter in human history where robots with natural movements and synthetic beings will be part of our daily lives in unimaginable ways. These robots not only resemble human beings, but also have the potential to profoundly transform various sectors. This evolution promises not only to improve our quality of life in crucial areas such as health and work, but it also directly challenges our ideas about what it means to be human. The potential is incredible, but ethical and emotional issues need to be openly debated so that we can make the most of all the opportunities that this technological revolution will bring us. We need to think, for example, about how to ensure that these new technologies are used responsibly and inclusively, benefiting society as a whole, and avoiding problems that may arise from their misuse. This is a discussion that we all need to embrace, 
because the future depends on the decisions we make now. And you, what do you think about all this? Leave your opinions in the comments. This video doesn't end now. It continues with us talking in the comments. If you find this video interesting, like, share, and subscribe.